Hey everybody, let me show you some tips on finding a driver for, uh, let's say something like this where you don't really know, this has a uh, discrete graphics on it. So when you do a fresh installation, sometimes you'll get this. This is a generic driver, right? If you don't open that up, let's start actually start from the beginning. You do an installation and then you're gonna go take a look at your device manager. And you're looking for your, you know for the asterisks or for something disabled or something you know that stands out there and everything looks good but the display driver is one that it'll install a, a generic driver it could say microsoft basic display or on windows 7 it has a different name but it doesn't stand out so it looks like it's good so you come here uh and you it, it looks like it's fine but it's not you know the video doesn't play well um if you see this how stuttery it is um, we did search for driver and it said you know that it's fine so this is kind of an oldish you know, Windows 7 an old machine so it's just not that finding the drivers for Windows 10 so the tip I'm going to show you here and this could be sometimes you have the drivers that you don't even know what it is right it'll just say uh, something interface who knows what right so it's going to be the same process. You're going to come here and go to properties. Come up here to details. Change here. Instead of device description, you're going to go to hardware ID. So the hardware IDs are these here. I mean, all this extension you could ignore. So let's say you start down here, right? Then is the vendor. 10DE. Uh, and the DV device. It's the vendor and the device, and I'm going to show you now how easy that's going to be. 10DE. Let's come over here to this website. PCI Lookup. Where's the other? PCILookup.com. So take a look here. You're going to put vendor at the top. Now this one, imagine, the example is 10DE or NVIDIA. So how do you like that? That's easy. But let's say that wasn't there, right? Um, you would put 10DE, and that's going to tell you the vendor, right? Vendor ID 10D. So it's NVIDIA. In this case, we kind of knew it was NVIDIA because it's got a little sticker in the front. So you know it's NVIDIA, duh, but there's like 253 pages of, uh, oh, actually, there you go. There's uh, 2,500 entries. You don't got time for that. So then you're going to go device, right? What was that device? It's a uh, device 03D0. Zero. Zero 03D0. Zero. So all these devices, I mean, they have those names in there, right? 03D0. Zero zero. If you look at the whole thing, you're going to go over and you're going to see right there, NVIDIA. Let's see. So if you see there, you see the NVIDIA at the bottom, because there's some others, right? The last one at the bottom, NVIDIA 10DE, G46150 SE, and force blah, 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 430, right? Sometimes it's not as easy as this, but this is a good example, you know, to show you the, the concept of it. If we go all the way back here, you can see the whole thing. Actually, we can make this, let's see, can we make this small? Click, it'll... Exactly. Yeah. Well, no, it doesn't work. I was just going to try to show you the whole thing in one image, but, right? So, we're going to go look for that driver, and that's going to be it. So, there's a quick tip on finding drivers that you don't know, if, you know, what they are. Uh, then from here, of course, you could go to NVIDIA, you could go to the manufacturer site or something like that. Sometimes you could have a driver that's say like a network driver um, and then you'll go to the manufacturer site but then there'll be Broadcom uh, real tech so even you would say let's just go to the manufacturer site and grab them from there sometimes the manufacturer site will have multiple drivers for a network or the wireless driver you'll go to the site it'll have three or four different ones so this is useful for you know a bunch of different situations so thanks for watching